Hey guys, so this is here bringing you another video. Now, before the video begins, thought I'd give a sponsor shout out to NordVPN, our long term partner on the channel. If you don't know what a VPN service is, they're basically there to protect you online. As I've always said, because I always be real with my sponsors, if you're at home and you're being pretty safe, you probably are okay. But if you are somebody that is out and about in the world nowadays, you're going to internet cafes, you're going to normal Starbucks or something like that, you're going to hotels, you're going to potentially even your university, maybe it's a good idea to use a VPN service when you're doing sensitive things online. You know, so if you're just watching YouTube, it should probably be okay. But if you're buying things and you're entering your payment information, if you're emailing people, those are the type of things that I would potentially consider using a VPN service when you're on a public Wi-Fi. Why is that? Well, unfortunately, not everybody in the world is nice. And sometimes if you're on a public Wi-Fi, people can kind of reverse the internet connection if in layman's terms and look at what you're doing if you're connected to the same Wi-Fi as them. So if you're inputting your payment info, if you're on a public Wi-Fi, someone else can look at that potentially. So a VPN kind of stops that from happening. It's like, and again, I'm not trying to scare people or fear monger here. It obviously is still quite rare, but again, it kind of puts a bit of ease on mind in what you're doing if you are on public Wi-Fi. Also worth mentioning, not just the spooky, scary things with security, there are other benefits also of a VPN service, and that is the more social aspect of if you're watching Netflix or Amazon Prime. Depending where you are in the world, these services have vastly different categories, and some countries have certain movies, on one of their catalog and then over here in the UK they don't have that movie using a VPN service like Nord you can kind of make your location online somewhere else and then you'll be able to unlock the full catalog wherever you're trying to it is worth knowing that sometimes they do work that out and when they work that out you just have to reconnect to a different server and you should be a-okay but that is it if you guys do want to check out Nord please do use the link down below and the code at checkout for a big saving Thank you very much, everybody, and I will see you guys in the upcoming content. If you could throw a like on this video, it does help out quite a bit. Peace. Hey, guys, this is here bringing you another video. Welcome back to Unranked 2 Diamond. Uh, jumping on this account, not as my dedicated session of the week, because the main account went pretty poop today. Uh, we went two games, two losses, just hasn't gone great. So this was the idea of occasionally jump on the Smurf account so I can continue to stream and I'm not forced to keep playing on the main account if it goes bad. Uh, we're playing Shaco, so I'll explain what we're doing in a second, but just to say this pick was donated by uh, VK Ornion. Hopefully I didn't butcher that, I might have. Uh, but anyway, the load of Meduda, we've got some duos going on. Again, a lot of Smurfs obviously are going to be about, just look at their levels, level 31, level 31, level 30, level 30. 35, 35, Smurf Duo, 32, 31, 31. Pretty much everyone is likely to be a Smurf. Maybe not the, the Lux, but she's also got some pretty good stats and stuff here or there. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, they do have a scary person. We banned their cat. Uh, the reason why, by the way, I banned Katarina this game, even though I've, I've been banning um, Yone recently, is because... Um... This guy wanted Yone, my ribbon. Wait, what? It's Skarna top... Huh? Right. Right, what the hell do I do? Um, so why am I playing Shaco? I am playing Shaco. How long does this last? 40 seconds. Oh, if that hit the center, I would have got first blood. That's annoying. That could have been first blood probably quite easily. I'm not going to be able to get them over there now because of that delay from the invade. That's annoying. Um, this isn't going to be the best clear. 
Oh yeah, I've completely derped out. Why am I playing Shaco? I have decided because today's been a bit of an odd day. Um, I am literally just going to play weird picks. So the idea of today is if you're watching the YouTube channel and like you're basically every video today, I want people to react. Wait, Hozzy's playing what? Hozzy's playing a Shaco game? That's what I want today to be. As weird as that might sound. I don't want to give away that I'm mid. Oh. I think bot lane's the prio. They're both really immobile. I'm expecting that Riven to win. So what we can actually do is question of the day. Obviously, I would have done the recording session already by the time this video gets uploaded, but can be a question of the day that what is a pick that if you see Huzzy, I upload a video, what would make you kind of go, what? What is that pick? <laughs> Riven overstayed and died again. Well, didn't die again, she died. I think she died only because she decided to overstay. Okay. Clear Wolves Gromp bot lane again. I'm just basically thinking Riven should be fine and I, I do probably need to get like camp him a bit, but I think if I just snowball the bot lane, it will go quite well. But this also requires them not dying when I'm not there. What do you max first on Shaco? I've got no idea. Dude, what are you doing? Oh dear, good old teammates. Really weird feeding going on. Don't ask me why they're feeding like that, but they are. People are saying three points into W and then max whatever I want. I'll probably go three points W then into Q. Q sounds better for AD Shaker. That ribbon's really cocky. Overextended. What was Twitch doing? I think he was basing or like I, they might have been using Senna as a bait of like she's basing in the middle of the lane and if they engaged on her Twitch would then engage from the side maybe? Because yeah, I don't really know myself. Our early game's going good. Again, Twitch, uh, sorry, Viger's got a lot of kills, which, you know, I kind of want kills in the early game because I'm an early game champion, but giving a late game champion kills in the early game is also really good, so. Not like that's a bad thing. It's just, is my team, my team is being quite reliant on me doing anything. Yeah. 
is the only thing. They're dead in bot lane again. This is the thing, man. Whenever I'm bot lane, we're winning. But whenever I'm not there, they're feeding. This is the thing. Enemy double kill. Can't feed when I'm not there. I can't be there the whole time. That's annoying. Oh, my team are just feeding. No. Wait. No. Oh, if Alistair came with me, maybe. Okay. Again, getting Figer fed's not bad. But that was a bad death by me. Trading, technically. I gave Shaco, sorry, um, Twitch a red. I don't like that I did that. Dark Harvest Lux is also really weird. Where's the CC? <laughs> like, what on earth are these people doing? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> they literally just didn't use any abilities. Holy moly. Okay. Well, Lux has got no strength at all. It's because she's Dark Harvest. What yellow is this? Uh, this is like, well, it's, it's silver rating, but it's smurf Q. I think pretty much everybody in this match is a smurf, but obviously you have different ratings of smurfs. Riven doesn't really think how she's playing at all. They literally do Rift Herald and she takes a fight. Shut down. Wait, did I get a shut down? Yeah, I did. All right. Uh, he flashed. What build am I going? Is the thing. Bro, my bot lane is just hyper feeding. Like, it, it honestly is pointless that I actually went to go help them. Oh well. Again, as I said, we'll upload videos. Um, even if we lose, because like Lux is getting wrecked, bot lane's getting wrecked. Top lane's not doing even that great anymore. So, yeah. Bot lane has died to the same thing like three or four times. Like, they keep dark, they keep overextending here and then letting Twitch engage on them without stopping his engage. You'd think with a Twitch Alistair, they'd be able to stop that engage pretty easily. Both of the champions can stop it. That's the weird thing. Lux is dead. Wait, Ribbon's dead. What? Is Shaco donated? Yep. Every pick that we do pretty much from now on is going to be a donated pick. 
is the idea. Where where's Twitch? Ooh, Twitch was behind. <clears throat> Doesn't really matter that I'm getting fed, it seems, by the way. No mana to Q, that's so annoying. Uh, the thing is, the bot lane is a smurf duo. Um, these, I just look, these two are smurfs. Like the, the player of the Vigas went 28 and 5 on Samira, for example. I think they're just an AD carry player, not a mage player, potentially. And they're trying to play a mage. They are, they're, again, they're all smurfs. As I said, though, there are multiple, you know, just because you're a smurf doesn't mean you're a diamond smurf. You could be a gold smurf. That's what sometimes people don't realize. Because I'm pretty damn fed, but I just don't think it matters. Dude, they just keep dying. They just keep dying. What the okay. I'm so fed. Hey, Zelge. I don't know. I don't think I can carry this game. An enemy has been slain. We're doing good though. Again, hopefully, even if it's a loss, the idea obviously unranked to diamond, we'll get the account diamond eventually, but it's it's more just a vibe and chill climb, as you guys will know. It's uh, a lot of people miss the variety that we upload with obviously the the, the master account is about tryharding this season. Um, so it's, it's, you know, it's to give the variety back, which obviously we used to do a lot more of. Fortunately though, um, only Lux traded there. That's not too bad. Because the negative, I will say, of Shaco is obviously he is a... He's an early game champion. Um, he's balanced to doing well early and falling off to as in carrying, pretty much. We're doing great, but I just don't see me really carrying. Mm. What? What? This isn't good. He's being auto attacked to death by a center. Oh, I knew Twitch was about. I just didn't know where he was. Alistair's literally... Alistair just killed him. Yeah, to be honest, I was a goblin there. I, I've i got 3k gold. Not basing was a bit of a troll. I'm, I'm making up my own build, by the way. This build might be terrible, but... Why is Skarna here? That's not bad. Completely waste of time for Skarna. Riven kills top lane jungle. Lux does die again, unfortunately, but... You know. 
Uh, Hammer, thank you much for the 28 months tier one. Says 20, 28 months. Wow, always a great uh, day getting to watch you play, husband, no matter the game. Hope all is well. It is, I'm still feeling a bit ill, but, um, you know, all is well. Just delaying the wave a bit if I can. This Skarn has no idea. Okay, maybe the Skarn is not a smurf. What the hell was that? I've got to kill... I've got to kill a Shaco and a Cassidy. Run, dude! What? Why did... Okay. Hmm. Try Roxo, uh, tier three or 11 months says another month at 10, but here's to many more. Give me a second, give me a second. Twitch was just randomly there. Wait, what, Ribbon? Okay, that's four people mid. <laughs> Um, it says another month in more more come made it to plat promos yesterday for the first time ever as of right now two wins zero losses nice man congrats hopefully you get it yeah I just I don't see us winning this one folks um it's just a bit too big of a team diff but well hopefully you guys are enjoying Shaco and me playing it you know this is something that you would never really ever get to see uh, and that is the plan of today is to play Again, every single pick we lock in, I want the reaction of the YouTube audience to be like, wait, Huzz is playing what? That's what I want today to be. So we might not end up with the best win rate today, but we might have some fun. Is the idea. Do so much damage. Shame Alistair took a shutdown then. Oh, we're going to do a Katarina game. Today's going to be a Katarina game for sure. He halted my clone! <laughs> <laughs> he altered my clone dude oh i love it oh this is an interesting baron backstab oh we're all gonna die i don't have ult or smite <clears throat> He's dead, I think. Alistair? He f huh. What? I have no idea. Garner is so weak. They just get to the center. That ribbon has misplayed that, but it doesn't matter. I think the dragon's gone. Hey, Hawkey! March, 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 march. I don't know why people play AD Shaco, uh, AP Shaco. AD is way superior. Yeah, today's Smurf Day. Uh, it, it was main account day, but the main account went really bad. So that's what I've said, you know, we're being flexible with the content, which I actually think is a really good thing. Um, oh, it's a shame that didn't land.
Jesus Christ, I just couldn't get to him. My God. At least he died, and he's the really fed one on the enemy team, so... Lux is so... Dude, she's 2 and 10. That was a weird engage, but my team is just so weak, it worked. Should have gone on the Twitch, I guess. We're just too far behind, guys. The only other one on, of my team that has any real strength is the um, Riven. We're just a bit too far, but we'll keep playing. We'll keep trying. I'm going with like an all-in crit build. So like I should have, well, I, again, I, I basically one shot the center, but I, I just should have tried to one shot the Twitch. I don't know if I had the range to kill him, but yeah, that should, that was a mistake. But again, live and learn. I'm, I also am very rusty in the jungle. I've not played jungle properly in a couple of years. Mm, I don't think there's any circumstance AP's better. But that I know there's also personal bias in that. I just have never seen a, an AP Shaco do anything. Wickle, how's it going, dude? Nine months tier one says hello, greetings from class. That Lux, Mr. Stunned Cassidon. Hmm. He has exhaust. Of course he's got exhaust. Wait, Lux died? Oh, Senna killed Lux. Right. Yeah, to be honest, as a team, and I, I put my hands up and I'm doing this as well, we're not focusing the... the... Kill him! Kill him! The Vygar! Kill him! Thank you! Good job, good job, good job. There we go. We're not focusing the right target very well. Oh, well, that's going to be an unofficial ace because we killed Cassidy before. Then we killed all four. That's not bad. If It shows that if the enemy team just muck up a little bit, they're in trouble. I'm going to buy a stopwatch. I'm going to go GA next. Lazy base by the Vigar. I call them lazy bases because you know you're positioning a little bit dodgy for them, but you're just being a bit lazy, not moving to a better position to base. I gotta kill the Twitch. He used exhaust on me that last fight. So next fight, he doesn't have exhaust up, which could make the difference. We will see. Yeah, like it's Cassidy and Twitch. If I can just kill one of those two, I've done my job well because I don't scale. Both of those champions do. Um. Oh god, that was a bad smite. Oh, the twitch, you little... He was there. He could come to me in a second. Oh, Riven's got him. Yes! Oh, dude, I wish I didn't go there now. 
I'm on my way. I've got him. Baron? March, 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 march. Damn it. My clone is never getting to, like, Baron. This is a pretty entertaining game. Cool. Again, if you're being entertained, you like what's going on. If you're watching on the YouTube channel, please do throw a like on the video. Goes quite a long way. I just like what I like and I think maybe people would agree is the Smurf series just has a different vibe. I'm we're in Diamond 1 still on the main account. We're going to try and get to master this year. You know, let's be honest, we're actually in the first we're still in the first half, I believe, of the season and we're already in Diamond 1. We're already kind of in that kind of zone. So I I do I truly do believe we're going to get master this year because if we're already in the rating that we're in, then it's a good sign, you know. Phase two just started, yeah. And I think there's three phases. I try. Okay, I thought Cassadin might still be around. I was like, I, maybe I could bait the Cassadin to go for my clone, and then I think I could kill him. <laughs> I'm a genius. <laughs> It worked perfectly. <laughs> oh, that's not good. I am very fed, remember. Twitch, if I wouldn't be surprised, is going to try and go here. Oh, no, he went forward. What? Is this a Penner? No, no Penner. Dude, we carried the hell out of this game. I was literally saying, oh, I don't think we're going to win. And we end up turning it around and winning. There you go. Jaco can apparently carry. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this game. This was a pretty damn good carry. Let's go. That was really good. Sorry that my commentary might be a bit subdued, by the way. I'm still feeling a little bit ill. But that was really good. I ended up carrying that one really hard. I'm going to give Stayed Cool to the Riven because she was the only other player that was like, okay. To be fair, the Alistair as well, maybe, but he died so much in lane phase. There we go. Um, so we go plus 28. Again, LP gains are just really low at the moment. But uh, we go 21, 8, 13. Pretty much solo carried this game to turn it around. Uh, and then damage-wise, yeah, we do the second most damage in the game as a Shaker. We do more damage, obviously, than Vigar. The Skana, I will say, was a bit weird. Because um, the, the thing is, it is a Smurf account, potentially. Um, 
he's got some good performances but it could be a bought account i don't know it's a, it's a bit of a weird situation but overall really good game of shaco again the lux obviously struggled massively as well so both teams you could argue both teams are a player each that were kind of not great we had the lux they had the skana and ultimately if i can kill and jump the twitch or the cassadin like i'll say my favorite move of that whole game was the top lane bait that i said oh if i could use a clone to bait out the, the cassadin and then it happened that was my favorite play of the game that was really good um but yeah now hopefully you guys enjoyed that was shaco uh so we're gonna move on and play more picks that you guys would probably just be like how like why is Huz playing this because that's what today we're gonna do uh, if you guys did enjoy though please do throw a like on it throw a comment throw a subscribe and i'll see you guys next time goodbye Call down the reckoning to bring back hope and peace restore our glory to live forever bring down the dark regime i know how to unleash eternal peace